Hey, what's up, everybody? You're tuned in to another non bases with your favorite non bay PG13, aka PG13. So, today, let's just get straight into things, right? The question was asked in my friend's WhatsApp group, and one of my friends said, Answer this question seriously. Do you guys see yourself seriously getting married? And the general consensus of an answer at the end of the day was, We see ourselves getting married, but it has to be the right person. So today I want to talk to you guys about the pros of me being married to the right person. What I see as positive traits for somebody that I'm looking to marry eventually if I do end up getting married because I've been heavily leaning on possibly not getting married in the future because it's not something on my to-do list. It's, it was something that I had you know plan in life i said you know i have to get myself my own house be married um start an extended family with children you know not just me and my wife but also have children but as i get a little bit older it's something that i kind of shy away from i kind of draw back on normally because one of the options out there really ain't as good as they used to be back in the day and two it's like uh, life Anybody who's an adult right now and ain't well off or better off, not saying that I'm not, but anybody out there who goes through life, they they understand what I say, life, right? But anyway, without further ado, let me get through this episode because it's going to be a quick episode. Probably it's going to be a two-parter episode. So I just want to go through some of the, the positives of what I look for in a partner, all right? So definitely, like the contestant said, I have to find the right person to get married. Case closed. Episode done. Thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, of course that ain't the end of the episode, guys. Come on now. I have to explain exactly to you what would make the right person for me and how would I find this right person, right? Of course. All right, so... My first point is that this person has to be suitable for me. And I know that sounds cliche. It's like, okay, yeah, of course you would marry somebody who is suitable for you. Nope. Some people really don't do that. They don't take the time to sit down, to be patient and learn their partner. There are some people who are married right now for maybe 40 plus years, 50 plus years, and they still learning something new about their partner each and every day. It is a very heavy responsibility that you have to make and a very heavy decision that you have to make when you decide to get married. Don't mind everybody around there getting married willy nilly and that's not a taking a shot at anybody who has been married recently or who has been married a few years back and unfortunately possibly divorce or anything. This ain't sending no shots to nobody, but you have to really take into deep consideration who you marry. This is one of the easiest decisions to make in life. It's a very hefty task because the person who you choose to marry from then on out should be a lifetime decision that you make. You don't want to go through a lot of divorces and getting married a second and a third time and a fourth time unless something natural happens, right? God rest the dead. People, you know, your spouse unfortunately passes away or something like that yeah i ain't willing or i ain't about to stand up there and give vows to somebody who's gonna vow to me and not mean it all right i'm gonna take my vows seriously if i have the opportunity to get married to somebody and it's gonna be a very very personal decision that i make so i definitely need to find the correct person so when i say it has to be a suitable person i mean stuff like that because once again, just think about it. The decision that you make to marry this person affects multiple decisions you make over your lifetime if you guys are actually able to make it, you know? So I definitely gonna need somebody responsible, somebody reliable, somebody who's gonna hold themselves accountable, who's gonna hold me accountable for both of our actions, you know? Somebody who I could rely on when things get tough. You know, that's one of the vows at a wedding in better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in health and in sickness. I've seen some examples where, you know, somebody got a little bit sick, somebody down, lost their job or something, and the spouse just skidoo. They out of there. 
are the first sign of negativity or the first sign of it getting tough when the going get tough the tough get going or whatever you know and it's like nah i ain't finna have that in my marriage because i'd be dumb if i you know marry somebody and she played me for bobo the clown played me for a fool and ain't reliable and someone who definitely got to be responsible that's somebody who responsible and know how to take care of themselves already now you know simple as paying bills somebody who understands that they have to get everything down back get everything right make sure everything in place and in order you know because that's a big killer too people who ain't organized and who don't have some type of order in their life some type of routine going on for themselves they just willy nilly and just go with the flow sometimes you need somebody on a more straight path definitely need somebody who's stable stability is a big point you know somebody who's mentally stable who's going to be financially stable who's able to you know save take care of themselves and use resources properly and somebody who's stable physically somebody who cares about their health somebody who makes sure stays in good shape want to try to look good and just regularly checks up on themselves that necessarily doesn't mean that they have to have the best and banging body over everybody else i look at but they definitely understand the importance of being physically well so that's that's whether they want to exercise make sure they put the right stuff in their body and make sure they take care of their body the foods they eat and all that stuff going back to financially stable that's somebody who's able to save you know somebody who understands that you know it's, it's a partnership we could help each other out to build an empire where we split our own resources and you know go about these things and somebody mentally stable who definitely is rational somebody who has patience somebody who will understand things from a practical perspective instead of just going on the negative interpretation of anything right off the bat you know definitely need somebody who's rational and practical and definitely under a suitable candidate a suitable candidate will be that i make will be based on um, decisions for the future for our future so if we decide to have children i always look at certain things based on how i would make the decision if i had to explain it to like a five-year-old child or if it had to benefit a five-year-old child you know because when you get married it's a process of two becoming one you know and i wouldn't want the person who i join with to think that it's only me and this lifetime commitment together especially if we have things put together after we make this bond such as children you know i don't want somebody where if I fall ill, that my children wouldn't be taken care of because the person is incompetent. That wouldn't even be fair to me. That wouldn't be fair to my children. And it definitely wouldn't be fair that the person would feel like, well, you was the one leading the household. Not saying that I don't want to lead the household as the man. Of course I want to lead the household. And I will define my roles and make sure I be that person to make sure everything is, you know, in place and everything is taken care of. But at the same time, I need a partner to help me to make sure when I make these decisions, it's the both of us in it together so i just wanted to touch on that definitely i need somebody who's able to compromise who's able to see things from various perspectives everything won't be peaches and gravy all the time i need somebody who's going to understand like hey i gotta look at this from this angle look at this from that angle look at this from that angle and be a problem solver and understand that okay even though it seems like something might be going bad i won't get hot at it and blow up at the first sight of danger at the first sight of things going turn it into a wreck let me just sit down be patient figure it out and let's talk through this and get through it or whatever whatever may have you maybe decision now if it's something that is drastic enough where uh, you know they might just go off on a on a limb or something it's totally understandable because me myself if it's something obvious like that then i'd be like yeah that don't make no sense you know but at the same time you need somebody level-headed somebody who's able to look at things and make a conscious decision to say hey i sat down i slept on it i think i think about it or i thought about it sorry and this is the best decision to move forward from here on out another point that i have is intimacy and for me, intimacy may not seem like 
the average perspective or the typical perspective of definitely a man in a romantic relationship. I just want somebody who's who wants to be there with me, who wants to spend time with me, honestly. Someone who relates to and participates in my goofy shenanigans. That's simply it, honestly. I kind of like companionship more than physical intimacy, honestly. And I know that does sound weird coming from a guy, but... And that's not to say that I definitely wouldn't give my wife physical intimacy, because I know that's definitely a very, very strong factor in a marriage. But I feel like if we mesh together and we click and we have that chemistry, that matters the most, in my opinion. So future wife, if you are then listening to these points, that's definitely a strong point for me, you know? Physical touch isn't really a, a big deal to me. I definitely will do it with my wife because, not because it's a routine thing and it's something that I know I have to, it's something I will definitely enjoy with my wife once I have her. And hopefully she'll enjoy it with me also. But I pray to the Lord that we'll be on that same wavelength where, you know, we just enjoy each other, have enough of each other, even if that physical touch isn't there. And in terms of physical attraction, well, she's got to be... <laughs> nah, nah, I just plain. I like what I like, you know. Physical attraction is the last point on this list, honestly. It still matters. But at the same time, there's various body types that are attracted to me. I don't even think I have a real physical body type that I'm attracted to. I really, really, really care about a person's soul, their personality. Once again, how responsible they are, you know, how much sense they make in. So when it really comes down to attractiveness with body type and stuff like that, once you look decent and once I like looking at you, once I attracted to you, once I really want to just snatch you up, hug you up, if you sleep in late at night, you know, I roll over and I just wrap my arms around you. Or oh, when you put on that little special dress, I look at you with lust in my eyes, bite my lip and we go to pound town, whatever may I be. <laughs> you know, uh, this ain't after dark hours. Let me let me calm that down. But I know this was pretty quick. I really could go into depth a whole lot more with this episode. But like I say, this um, the next additional episode that I do is gonna be like some of the cons of what I don't want in a partner for marriage. But overall, I think I think marriage is a viable option for me. Unfortunately, I haven't found the right person yet. But I strongly do hope that I find somebody, I don't want to say in the near future, but in the future, somebody who I could really sit there and say, wow, she definitely is the one. I think I can make this decision. I think I can make this leap and make a lifetime commitment to that person. Are there any candidates out there right now who I might be looking at? I ain't an American, but I plead the fifth. <laughs> I have a right to remain silent on that, so... Anywho, that's just in my thoughts, my takes on this. Um, hopefully you guys were entertained. Hopefully you guys you look forward to the next episode, the continuation of this whenever I do this. Let me know your thoughts on marriage. I know a lot of people lately ain't really into marriage and they feel like it's not a plausible thing to do. You know, they have their various reasons of why marriage really ain't a successful thing to do or it ain't a sufficient thing to do with like and it ain't something to do on your to-do list and that's perfectly fine too so just let me know your all thoughts but otherwise you know i hope you've been entertained once again thank you for listening once again this is your favorite non-bay and definitely i'll be coming next week with another interesting topic very very interesting topic based on what's happening now in my part of town so you don't want to miss it. Thanks for all the support so far. This has been your favorite non-day. And I am once again signing out. See you next time.